Hey YouTube, Austin at Vintage Warfare here today to talk about the inevitable discussion of SHOT Show 2023 and the things that came out. And it was pretty wild. For one, this came out. Oh my god! Okay, it's happening! Everybody stay calm! What's the Everybody procedure, everyone? Calm. What's the procedure? Stay calm! Wait, 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 wait! Everybody just calm down! So for those of you that follow me on Instagram or any of my other platforms, I've been talking about and bullying companies into reproducing the SDG 44, and I guess I manifested it um, because I bullied the wrong companies because, well, I mean, by the way, Blue Line Solutions, German Sports Guns, cool companies, but here comes PSA out, out of the woodwork with a SDG 44 clone, and it's in four different calibers. And then, yeah, some other cool stuff came out. They announced the Crink um, and some 9mm Jackal variants. I don't know. I don't really care about that. I was really more so uh, enthralled by the uh, STG. And, yeah, there was, like, a 12-gauge suppressor that came out. Um, the Glock 47 was all people were talking about. Oh, yeah, Holosun had some uh, thermal uh, optic with a red dot, too. Uh, it, the line was so long for it, and people just didn't even bother at times. But, uh to go see it but you know it's cool that they wanted to show us who's a federal agent in the room that was really kind of them so the night before the stg 44 was announced by psa i got a dm um basically telling me hey this is a thing and i couldn't have been more excited and basically the rundown was psa had called hmg hill and mac gunworks and said hey what's the status of the uh, stg 44 and they said well you know um we want to do it, and uh, the lawsuit that they were tangled up in, I guess it ended sometime in May. It got uh, resolved. Don't know what happened with that, but yeah, going forward, um, HMG is working with PSA to make these STG-44s, and I do believe what was said uh, was that everybody who pre-ordered an STG-44 through HMG will be getting them as they would have come from HMG if you'd purchased it from them directly. And then every other purchase after those pre-orders are fulfilled will be a part of the new Battlefield line that PSA is doing, and I couldn't be more stoked about it. And the SCG-44 that PSA is going to be putting out is slightly different than a um, actual STG-44 for obvious reasons. The, um, the trigger packs will be like an HK-33 from what I understand. So they're a little bit fatter um, and they don't look quite correct. The safety is probably a little different from what I gather. Um, but other than that, it looks as close as you could possibly get. And it's the only intermediate caliber clone that exists. And this also goes into another topic. I was on the Clone Incorrect podcast uh, last night and we kind of got into this discussion about SHOT Show and just kind of where the market is going and where these trends are moving. And um, really, it's 3D printed guns in, in one corner and retro in the other. And they're both, like the excitement for the STG-44 I saw online was insane. Everybody, everybody wanted one. And somehow I was blamed for it existing. I, have no, I had no idea. I felt like that one meme from The Office where he's like shaking that dude's hand and somehow I'm, I'm blamed for manifesting it. I still, I still don't know why, but hey, you know, cool. I guess that's cool. But really, it sets a precedent that um, retro is the way companies should be going. We already have an oversaturated market with AR-15s, Glock clones. For some reason, now 5.7 pistols. I Okay, look, Smith & Wesson's 5.7 pistol, cool. Piston 5.7 pistol, I, no one really asked for it, but I think it's kind of neat. Like, okay, whatever. And then there was the nerds that were, like, complaining in their comment section. There was a couple of them, like, oh, but what about, what about the MP5 clone? What, completely different circumstances by the way there's already five companies that make the mp5 go away no one makes the stg44 just just let me have this just let me have this win but yeah all in all shot show 2023 impressed me i gotta say um i thought it was just gonna be more glock clones a new bolt gun somewhere um some new optics and like maybe some ar9 carbines or whatever i don't know i thought that was gonna be it but hopefully PSA starts making uh, Panzer reproductions. I'd really love one. If you're listening, please do that. This Battlefield line kind of implies that um, they're going to do other uh, retro type stuff. or not, not even really retro. Like old weapons. Maybe, I don't know. Uh, maybe they reproduce the 
Sten. Maybe they make an angry tube for us or, or whatever. I mean, the sky's the limit. Um, but you know, I have a feeling that they're going to, they're going to sell out of these STGs like that. So I'm uh, really excited about that. As to when the STG 44 will be available, usually these things take like six months to a year to come out. And I know that people, when it comes to PSA are skeptical, uh, because of the MP5 vaporware, uh, scenario where that was kind of an entirely different circumstance. Um, their lead designer bailed and I would suspect it's because they couldn't get it to the price point. Um, where they were trying to get it to. Um, I would imagine it was pretty expensive to just make an MP5. I would imagine that the price point is gonna be somewhere north of $2,000. Honestly, they kind of have to charge certain amounts to make this uh, this work. And I mean, hell, Ohio Ordnance Works is charging, charging 6K for a BAR reproduction. So, and that was sold out. That said though, it appears that PSA has uh, given a happy ending to the HMG situation. I don't know if that's gonna get me demonetized. That's gonna do it for me today, Sauce of Vintage Warfare. Um, yeah, short video just because people wanted to know my thoughts on the STG44 clone, and my thoughts are it fucks, and I want one. So I will see you in the next video. Later.